Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, sorry, sorry guys about that. Um, my dad came to the door, and out of respect for him, I do not vlog. I pause these things. I'm hoping when I edit this, it doesn't break it up on my editing program because I left such like a gap and everything and stuff that I have to edit. I'm telling you guys right now, this is part of the reason why you don't know me, you don't understand anything. All right. I come from a family who does not believe in technology. My dad doesn't have a cell phone. No one has anything. They think they know it all, and I'm stuck here, who went to school for things, did everything, still being told I'm wrong. All this good stuff is happening to me, and I have no one to share it with because the one person I would love to share it with stabbed me in the friggin' back. My family could care less what I do because they don't think this is real. Because they're such set in ways that things have to be, this is a job, this is a job. And they don't realize technology. Things are changing. I'm not the medical person that my sister is. I am not the, bi the book binding, whatever it is that they call it, like secretarial type thing. My mother was. I may be like a mechanic like my dad, but I don't have that training. And shadows acting up. Okay, guys, this is where I'm trying to say this. Everyone is unique. Everyone has their own image. But when people start lying and cover up things or telling half-truths to others, okay, to save their asses and their faces with people who could care less about them but pretend to be their friend is why I had to give him up and walk away. I didn't throw him away like he threw me away. I had to give him up. I'm tired of everybody thinking that I need to go find the next thing or go find somebody to, to make him jealous. Or, no, no, that's not me. That is not me. All right. I just spent with my dad trying to fix the toilet that broke. Yes, guys. Yesterday, the toilet broke because they make everything with plastic. So the handle broke. All right. And insulted my cousin, who's a plumber, because they don't know. My family does not know. You don't come around here. If my family doesn't know you, they're not going to make an effort to. Everyone doomed me and Christopher from day one because of their own selfishness. But I let it go in one ear and out the other. And bitched and moaned about it to everyone because no one wanted to ch me to change. They all wanted me at arm's length. They want me for their own selfish reasons. Christopher's friends may have may not did the same thing but from what I have on proof they did but he didn't let it go in one ear and out the other he let them manipulate him the way he manipulated all of you by lying to you about what happened between us so this is where I'm pissed right now I'm pissed off he is not banned from New York New York the United States government did not ban him I told him until he fixes it and apologizes he is not to set foot anywhere near me or anywhere near the city. Now, if he's lying about things and other stuff like that, that's on him. I sit here trying to celebrate what's left of 2016 before it destroys any more lives. Okay? I have to try to add this now to the end of a vlog because I, there's no pause button on this camera because like I said, I'm just starting out. I can't afford the equipment to do like everybody else does. I just learned my phone could do that. I have to piecemeal everything. That's why these sit downs are like this. That's why they look grainy because I'm using low tech stuff because I can't afford high tech stuff. And that's okay. but I should not be penalized because I don't have a house. I don't have this or anything. Do you want to crack up laughing? My cousin is, I don't know if he was joking about it, but he said if me and Christopher really were serious about things, he was going to let me pay off the mortgage on his house, and I would have had a house while he moved in with his uncle. Me and Christopher would have had a house. I mean, do, do people not realize how wonderful some of my family is. 
But then again, no one wants to get to know me. You all want to play your little games and cyberbully and all this other stuff. So here's my thing for this. I am happy tonight because the podcast I'm working for, well, volunteering with right now and everything, is doing very well. Traveling TARDIS is doing good. We're getting a name for ourselves out there. We might not be as big as some of the other ones, but you know what? We're getting there. But to be mentioned in a UK paper or online stuff, that we're to be watched, meaning we're getting good and everything, says something about things. Says something about my life. That maybe I finally found the right bunch of people who actually see the strengths and not my weaknesses. Life is going to get better for me, and I know 2017 will. But it would be nice if my best friend slash thought was my boyfriend would tell the truth to himself and to others. Like I said, don't play me for a fool, don't make me out to be the fool, don't make me out to be the bitch, don't make me out to be whatever. Because karma will be a bitch and it will turn back on you. Three by three by three, what you do to me will happen to thee. I did nothing wrong to him. I wanted to be the one for him. But I still wanted a fair chance. So guys, telling you right now, this. We have 20-something days left till the new year. I would not want to be spending it alone or spend my Christmas alone, but I have to. Because this would be the first Christmas and the first New Year's, and that's the funniest thing, where it would have been I had a complete day off after Christmas. Or a complete, like, you know what I mean, New Year's Day, you know what? Stuff that would have made my day if I had somebody to share it with. But I have to share it with you guys. My vloggers, my fellow vloggers, my fellow YouTube watchers, my fellow Facebook fans, and everything. Because you guys actually matter to me. Because you guys actually know what I'm saying here. But the one person I really wanted to share this with, I can't. Because out of all of this, he became the bully that I thought he'd never be. And the spoiled brat that he swore he never was. He did see me for me at one time, but now I don't know. I called the UK police because it wasn't stopping. I didn't want to have to stop talking to his parents. I just wanted it to stop. I wanted the bullying to stop. I wanted him to stop lying about things. I wanted all of them to stop being two-faced to me and other people. I wanted them to realize that bullying is not a game, that bullying does hurt, that bullying is a problem that I shouldn't have overreacted. No, guys. doesn't work that way. Some of you are just getting out of school. You're just getting out of diapers. You don't know what it's like. Take another 20 years on your life and then see what happens. As for me right now, I'm not sort of letting it go because I don't want to see another child punched, hurt, or anything, or cyber-bullied this holiday season. So I will not let it go. For someone who told me to forget my past and let it go was the reason I picked that theme for my graduation. Because everyone kept telling me I would never amount to anything. I would never graduate college. I will never do anything because I'm dumb, stupid, dyslexic. Verbal bullying me. And one person said to me, you mattered. I love you. I care about you. Only to have him lie about it and take it back. How do you think that makes me feel? So I had to give him up. I had to. Because I loved him too much that I had to give him up. Because in his mind, he's not the person that I met. He's not the person who tried to make it better. He just kept going and going. So I can't let it go. Because there's some things you can't let go. You can only give it up. For your own heart. And I'm not going to hurt somebody else. The way he hurt me. I'm not going to retaliate. To get back at him. But to be accused of things. That I did not do say 
or even was mentioned about, that's wrong too. Like I said, he had two friends he went to school with. One got to know me, and one refuses to get to know me and just wants to keep making up these little stories about me. Or these little things to people when they say, stop talking about her like that, when he's never clearly met me. And I say to him, you know who you are, Lukey Lukey Luke. And that happens to your family, I'd like a phone call. I pray it doesn't happen. Or I pray you get a soul or a conscience and stop acting like an ass. Because if you were anything like Alex Baker, you would have gotten to know me. I know who the better man is of, the, of, of Chris's friends, and it ain't you. Alex is the better man. He took a chance. He took a leap of faith. You, Luke, are running scared like a coward. And that's okay. You must love me so much to run scared that you have to badmouth me to everybody and tell them they have to rip a new one on Comedy Gold or all this other stuff that you think it, all these things about me. That you have to help me with Christopher? No, 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 no. He's 33 years old. You have a wife now and you're dealing with stuff on your own. Let him be an adult. He's not your responsibility. Unless you guys made a, a Wiccan marriage where you guys are all married. Or you're like my aunt who had two husbands. Okay? Because that's the way you portray him, Luke. To the world and to everybody. So, on that note, I'll talk to you guys maybe tomorrow. Or I'll have the vlog about the 15th anniversary of Spirited Away. Everything. Who knows? But, Merry Christmas. Happy Yule. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Holidays. Happy Satinella. Happy whatever you celebrate. Me, I'm going to try to edit this and hopefully I pray it works. And I'll put the links into everything. So, bye for now. See you later. Have peace. Fun.